Today, we're going to be talking about stars who were banned or dropped off of the Hollywood radar. And now we know why. My name is Hakeem Brown, and this is Pop City Culture. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother... Welcome to the most listened to international podcast around the world. Hakeem and Reggie Brown are two young African-American boys speaking the truth. This is Pop City Culture. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to Pop City Culture by Kids for Kids. It's Reggie Brown, your boy, the pod guy. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be talking about celebrities, man, who were, like, banned or they just dropped off the Hollywood radar. Man, I, I there's a lot of stuff I didn't know about some of these actors, but we're going to talk about it. I'm going to pass the baton off to my brother from the same mother, <laughs> Hucky Brown. Thank you there, uh, Reggie. You're welcome. And, uh, oh, my God. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be talking about all these celebrities, I mean. There's a lot of celebrities, and everybody wonders, hey, what happened to these celebrities, and why don't we hear from them anymore? I know, right? Um, Now, I grew, you know, Reggie, you and me grew up with a lot of celebrities, but yep. I guess there are older celebrities yeah. that a lot of people are saying, hey, what, what's going on with these guys? <laughs> but <laughs> that hate. being said, do you want to get to it, Reggie? Oh, I want to get to Reggie, it. Reggie, do you want to get to yes, it? Yes, brother, I want to get to Reggie, it. Reggie, can you hear me? Do you want <laughs> Yes. Okay, okay, okay there, Reggie. Okay. Hey, go on, go on. So anyways. I, 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 I love this show. Go on. Now, on. let's face it. Okay. You know, a lot of these actors, eh, they can have some reckless what, Reggie? The word is behavior. <laughs> yeah, some reckless behavior. To downright what, Reggie? The answer is mean and bullying antics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mean and bullying antics. I mean, <clears throat> even the biggest celebrities, they aren't immune to being blacklisted. Or being black. Don't forget that. Okay, Reggie, moving on. I mean, out of Hollywood, I mean, whether it's a bad career decision or, or, or something that's personal. You know, these, these famous stars aren't getting into any Tinseltown parties uh, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> or any less. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know what right. you're saying. So, I know. I know exactly what you're saying. You know, go on, go on. we we got to name the last reason. <laughs> I, I think we all know who the last one is, but... We we gotta first we're gonna talk about what are we gonna talk about the Spider Man. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey Reggie, do you like Spider Man? I love Spider Man. Really? Hey, mm-hmm. did, didn't you dress up as Spider Man for Halloween one year? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So so who's who's that? Who's who's that other like black Spider Man? I um Morales. I think it's Miles Morales. Hang on a second. Let me look it up. Miles Morales. Who is Miles Morales? The black I just, Spider. I just said it's Man. Miles Morales. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm I'm up here looking it up. Oh, and are, are you serious? Why, why do you keep Man, doing this? Where, where is it? Miles Morales. Oh, oh idiot. It's, he, he's called Miles Morales. That's what I, that's what I said. <laughs> Reggie. Man, I can't believe you this. You know, Reggie, you what? just hate to see me look stuff up, don't you? No, I mean, I, I, well, when I, I know the answer. There's nothing wrong with my headphones. Nothing wrong with but my headphones. I answers. just want to make sure we got the right person. Oh, man. Okay? Whatever. Do you understand man. what I'm saying? No. Do you know where I'm coming from? No, I don't know where you're coming from. You sound anyway, like an so, idiot. So, anyways, you know. Idiot, idiot brother. Go on. He looks black. Mm-hmm. To, to me, he looks black, but you know what always got me? What got you? What got His you? His name is Miles Morales. Uh-huh. Now, now you know, Morales, I, I thought was a Latino last name. So, mm-hmm. so I'm sitting there saying, well, what's going on? Because, you know, Reggie, you and I both know, you know, you know, la- you know Latinos, they can come in all shades, you know, black like us, light yep. skin. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're all over the place. Just yep. like black people, you know, black people come in all colors, you know, yep. light skin, dark mm-hmm. skin. But, you know, I, I was saying to myself, he's, you know, he's he's black. Well, yeah. is he black? Because his last name is Morales, because his, you know, his father looks black. So, like I'm, African-American so black. I'm, I'm looking on here now, uh-huh. and it says, uh, what? Miles Morales. When Marvel's editorial staff decided that the Ultimate Universe Peter Parker would be killed in 2011 storyline, Death of Spider-Man, the characters, Miles Morales was created. 
Although Morales is the first black Spider-Man, he marks the second time a Latino character has taken the Spider-Man identity. We're moving on up. So, we're moving up. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm saying to myself. <laughs> well, what are you saying? Like what? Well, maybe his father's, man, maybe his father's mixed. Well, his father. So it, it says here. No, no, no. Hold, hold, hold up. Wait a minute. Because I saw the, I saw the, cart, the uh, movie and the father looked African-American black. Hey, hang on. You know? Hang on. Hang on, Reggie. I'm, I'm, okay, so it, it says here, Miles Morales first appeared in Ultimate Fallout number 14, August 2011, following the death of Peter Parker. The 13-year-old biracial teenager, son of an African-American father and a Puerto Rican mother. He is the second Spider-Man to appear in Ultimate Marvel, an imprint with a separate continuity from the mainstream Marvel Universe. He was featured in Ultimate Comics Spider-Man, comic book and after marvel ended the ultimate imprint in 2015 miles was made a character in the main marvel universe beginning with stories under the all new all different marvel branding to debut that same year man i didn't i didn't even know that i wonder if dad's got that cat but always a big butt in there somewhere I mean, what did, did they say his what? african-american father <laughs> and puerto rican mother mm -hmm. so what did he keep his his mother's last name now that's the thing because usually you you always hear kids taking the father's last name so maybe that's it they, they don't say who, who them who the mother's mother's uh well here's the lowdown in the ghetto and we live in the ghetto you you rarely hear a uh, black negro colored african-american individual with the last name morales just like you don't hear the last name white or or um trump or or Gates, Rockefeller, Rothschild. Usually it's like Black, Brown, Johnson. I, you know, we you know we we all know because we live in the ghetto. Well, you know. Okay, yeah, I I can see your point, but however, we have to look at the changing times, and I'm just wondering what they got to say about the mother. What what do they say? Name is they don't say nothing about her, but. You know, did did you see did you see the movie? Yes, I did. I saw it three times. Yeah, I saw mm -hmm. it too. But you know, when it first came out, mm -hmm. I, I I didn't see it at the theater. Right. I, Why I, not? I ended up seeing it on, on TV Cheap. because Cheap. Uh, <laughs> one, I you know the, the style of art I just didn't like. I didn't like it. Oh man, that's the only reason, man. Well, what I didn't like about it was it was like real flashy and stroby and it, it was different. I wasn't used to it. But I mean, you watch it enough. You get used to it. True that. True that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know it's, you know, it's, it's sort of like Superman. When Superman came out. What? what yeah. Man, he, to, to me, he did not look like Superman. I was like, man, what are they trying to pull here? Because he, he to me, no, he, he, you know, that guy did not look like Superman. And But mm -hmm. you watch him long enough, you just accept it. You know who really <laughs> did it right, though? Who, who did it? Um, X-Men. I, I think all those characters yeah. in the X-Men, they, they, they were right on the yep, line. Yep, yep, That's I, probably why X-Men, I, mm -hmm. I think, is probably... Maybe, I don't know for a fact, but I, I'd say it's bigger than DC. Well, what do you think? Man, I think it's definitely bigger than DC because they put the characters right, you know yeah, what I'm now, saying? Yeah, now, what? Now, you know. What, what? I, I, you know, I know we're talking about stars in the Hollywood and stuff, but I do want to say this. I remember in, in the DC when they, when they had a... Uh, when they had what? What? When they, when they were doing the Batmans. Uh-huh. What about the Batman? Now, the, the only Batman I liked... I mean, truly like, I mean, they were all good when they came out, but the one who stepped it up a notch was Ben Affleck. That's true, but, you know, I still like Michael Keaton. I think he was good. But go on. What were you going to say about Ben Affleck? He, to me, was Batman. He was <laughs> he was a hot gung ho. And, uh, but, but the other Joker guy that, that, that had died. That was my man, Heath Ledger, because he was good, but yeah, he died. I thought he was the best Joker, but, but the new Joker... I didn't like him. Now, why am I not surprised, brother? But they're showing him in previews for the next, uh, I think it's Justice League. Now he looks like a psycho. Now he, he's, he's a lot better. You know, he's bringing something to the table. Right. <laughs> he does look good, yeah. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to agree, man. So, anyways, we are talking about the 20, the the stars who have been banned. So, hang, hang on a second, brother. I got yeah, your back. Yeah, yeah. Here's your papers yeah. over here. Here. So, Tony McGuire. You know he's worth seventy-five million dollars. Say what? Yeah, and his whole name is Toby Vincent McGuire. So he's forty-six, five-eight, and uh, he's famous for the Spider-Man and a few other movies. Yep. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I guess he had a boyish face, and he was <clears throat> getting older in his forties. And I guess it doesn't help when you know, according to Entertainment News. Uh, 
to the entertainment news. You can look this up yourself. We don't want the social justice. <laughs> uh, here, here it comes. <laughs> um, tube police coming after us. No, <laughs> man. They, look it right they, up. They all, getting it right, right here. They always coming after Says us. Says he, uh, <laughs> being involved in an L.A. underground celebrity gambling ring, uh, that doesn't really help your image. <laughs> so, it don't hurt it either, brother. I guess he was what? Gambling. Yeah. He, <laughs> according yeah. to this, he but, wasn't. I, I wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah, were you we, there, Reggie? I wasn't there either. <laughs> I know. We weren't there. <laughs> I ain't got so no we just money. gotta take entertainment <laughs> news about this. Everybody yep. enter, don't come after you, us. You go after Social them. justice. You go after them people. Uh, to, <laughs> we, we ain't we ain't in for no more marks here. Ain't for no jail yeah. time either. No, <laughs> even though we are all over the uh, internet the, uh, world. World world. Yeah, internet radio. <laughs> we ain't got no problem with them. <laughs> they don't got no problem with us either. We love you guys. I know, right? <laughs> we love y'all. So y'all love us. <laughs> you know, you also got who, who you got? Cameron Diaz. Uh-huh, yep. And uh, hey, uh-huh. she's worth $140 million. Wow, that, she got some. Is, Man, she, <laughs> is she single? Is she single? Huh? Uh, Reggie, I think, what? I don't know if she's single, but she's going to come after you. Okay? <laughs> she, she's 49, 5'9", uh-huh. in hometown San Diego. And uh, yeah, she made a lot of lot of movies, but well, hang on. Here comes Savannah creeping in our house again. Oh. So Savannah is walking in our house again. Yep, taking our food. I don't know if she's going to say anything. <laughs> she's going to say nothing. She's like tiptoeing. She's okay, running so out that door. Anyways, um, Cameron Diaz, what, what happened to her? Brother, I got no idea. You want to know what happened? Absolutely. Okay, so she, she made her own choices to distance herself from Tinsel Town. I, I guess she, you know, after meeting and she married her husband, hubby, uh, Benji Madden, she decided to step away and settle down. So that that's where she is, and, and we wish you all the best there, yeah, Cameron we sure Diaz. Do. Yeah, yep. we. Hey, we do, what movie would you like to see her in? Um, uh, what was what was that movie? Charlie's Angels. I know they ought to make another Charlie's Angels. It's ridiculous. I know. You know, she was really good in it. I love well, it. Well, the other one is the Ed Ba Mess. What? Brandon Fraser. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. So he he liked it. A bunch of movies. He's worth twenty five million. Oh you my know, God, that's a lot of money. Yeah, you know, I, I would think with all the movies he made, he'd have a lot more than that. Why, why has he only got $25 million? Apparently, he don't know how to say it, but he definitely knows how to spend that money. Mm-hmm. That, that ain't going to last him too long in Hollywood. <laughs> last too long anywhere, I, man. <laughs> he better make some more movies. <laughs> nah, a whole lot of movies. <laughs> yeah, he ain't uh, he, he ain't looking nope. like Hollywood material right now. Nope. You know who he looks like? He's, that, he's got a belly like dad. He looks Dad's like, got I, a big old fat belly. I was just about to say that. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe they could both work yeah. out together. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You know, dad ain't so, gonna do nothing. Dad, we're working Anyways, work out the Brandon Fraser's worth mm. 25 million, 53 years old. He was born in uh, Indianapolis, Indiana, and he, yeah, he's famous for the money. Now, here's the thing. What is the thing? He vanished from where, Reggie? Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood. Mm-hmm. I guess he revealed the sad reason for it because uh, I, I, you know, I, I guess he was assaulted at a luncheon by a former president. Well, well, well let's just say it was in the movie industry because we don't want to get another mark by social media. And that's what it says here in the uh, entertainment news. We're only saying what they're saying. Yes, brother. Don't come after us. <laughs> Don't come after we us. We ain't got no money. <laughs> but yeah, so he he, he has stepped away. I hope he's doing well. Because yeah. I, I really do miss him in all of the... Uh, movies that he did. Yeah, he was the, really, uh, really good. I like Mummy him. movies. But they ended up redoing the movie, I think, and they had Tom Cruise in it. Yeah, that, that's pretty so, good. He, he does all his stunts, too. Hey, do, do you remember Jennifer Love Hewitt? I sure did. She's my yeah, honey. She, well, she's worth... Uh, Eight eighteen million. Man, she must be a spender. Now, again, I thought she'd, she'd have more money than that. I know, right? Uh, what? She's five two. Uh huh. And yeah, she did the movie. I know what she did last summer. Scary movie, y'all gotta see it. But uh, mm-hmm. she dropped out of the spotlight. And do you know why? No, brother. I want you to tell me why. Well, it says Jennifer would chalk this up to being over the sexist media and wanting to start a family. Shout out to Jennifer, man. You know, you got to respect somebody like that who holds to their values, you know? So she wanted to be a mommy. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. Yep. Very cool, man. Um, The next one is I, Reggie. I know he's your favorite. He's your favorite, Reggie. You, you, you got one guess. You got one guess, Reggie. Who do you think it is? Denzel Washington. No, Reggie. <laughs> no. Guess again. Wesley Snipes? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wesley Snipes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, he, he, uh, what, what? He, he, uh, did the movie Demolition Man, and that, that was awesome, man. That oh my was, God, uh, that was awesome. So, so, so good. He's worth 10 million. 
Oh, what? That's but pretty much. Do you know what happened to him? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, okay. So he served jail time. Mm-hmm. I guess um, he didn't pay his taxes for years. And when he was finally busted for it, he had to serve the jail time. Yep. When you're black and you're rich, the government always wants their little slice. Mm-hmm. And uh, Hollywood handed over its own sentences. <laughs> I ain't surprised. He wasn't seen until like 2021 when he appeared in the anticipated sequel movie of drum roll please bada, 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 bada. coming to america man that movie was off the hook and one of my favorites man <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. that was a good movie that was that was that was a really good movie really yeah. good movie so did, did you you saw that movie too right yes i did a million times man, shut up <laughs> yeah okay okay i was just saying Go we on, saw on. it together, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you liked it, right? I loved that movie. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that was a good movie. Best. Absolutely. Yep. So. Go on, go on. Uh, what? What were you going to say? Let me see what's... Uh, let me see what else is going on here. Yeah, hurry up. Get to it. You got the paper right there. What are you waiting on? Go on. So we have... Who? Who do we have next? Name? Jessica Biel. Oh, yeah. Um, $250 million. Say what? Man, how does she make that money? much money? <laughs> Do it like everybody else. Yeah, marry it. <laughs> She's uh, 40 years old, born in Minnesota. Did, did you know that, Reggie? Man, is you stupid? How would I know something like that? Uh, did you, Reggie, tell me, tell me you knew that, Reggie. No, brother, I did not know tell it. Tell me. My brother, you knew that. I just said no, fool. So, anyways, she, um, she's 5'7", and she's uh, known for The Illusionist, but I, I, I think she was in another movie. I, I almost want to say Total Recall, but they don't hold me to that. Anyways, um, let me see what happened to her. Uh, she did her fair share of romantic comedies, it says, but only recently did Jessica get the opportunity to show off her acting chops in the center. Never saw it. But wait a minute. What, what? What, what happened to her? Fell off the face of the earth or something. This, man, she didn't even fall off the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Up here saying that she's blacklisted, but she's still doing stuff. Man, this, yeah, she is, man they, they just they, they just Rick rolled us. Man, are you serious? <laughs> Rick rolled. Okay, so Rick rolled. they got Shia <laughs> LaBeouf. Yep. Um, That guy. You, you know him? Not personally, but yeah, I know who he yeah, is. $25 million. He's 36 years old. From California. Yeah, he was in Transformers, but I... I, I I remember, I don't know, he, he seemed like, did, did he go off the edge or something, somebody said? He seemed like he might have went Cuckooville or something, I don't know. Yeah, man. well, you know, you know, I guess they're saying it's a shame when such a talent goes to waste due to ego and a darker edge to personality. But that's exactly what happened with Shia. Once the next big up and coming star. Um, Brother, that is tragic. He had wild behavior. Mm-hmm. He says it turned out violent and he's currently oh, being man. investigated for abuse. That's too bad. That's really too so, bad because I, I, I really like it. That ain't good. That ain't good. Definitely not good. And, uh, but what? But what? You know, I, I guess it happens. You know, when you're famous, stuff like that happens, right? Apparently so. Um, let me let me look down here. Vince Vaughn. That, you know, it says here he sort of blacks it, but I don't know because I I love that guy's movies. He's worth seventy million. That that sounds about right because because he's a good actor. Fifty two years old, six five. Man, that's a tall glass of ice. Dude, tea. that guy is like a basketball he player. He is tall. Yeah, <laughs> I man. know, right? I mean, never seen yeah, him so like that. He was in the movie The Wedding Crashers, mm-hmm. which was real big. Yeah, our dad wouldn't let us see it, but we always saw like, it the first ten minutes. I thought it was funny, mm-hmm. but it yeah, was. Dad, you wait till we're older. We'll be we'll be watching that movie. <laughs> he ain't gonna tell us what to watch. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah, be we watch we, their we, own yeah, thing. They ain't gonna have it on a <laughs> on a streaming they're probably gonna have nope. something else you can just plug it right into your what but <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah you head idiot <laughs> i know it's head. i was just kidding yeah man. i know Shut right up, idiot so <laughs> go on go on let's let's see what what they say happens to him okay um says vince Vaughn was a mega mega star one after another but something happened in the last decade taking on roles that were lacking I don't think so. I'm gonna have to disagree with them. Me too, because as far as I'm concerned, the guy's doing I, good. We, me and my brother disagree because that guy yep. is the boom diggity. Boom diggity. <laughs> mm, yep, absolutely. Uh, Jim Carrey. Uh huh. Um, they said he fell off the face, but and he's worth 150 million. I thought he'd be uh, that, worth more than that. No, that, that sounds about right. That sounds yeah, like, so a lot of, he's a lot, lot of cabbage he, he's there. He's six two. He's tall. Mm-hmm. He's he's Canadian. What? Oh, he might. <laughs> Yeah. I made that. So, <laughs> I guess he just didn't want to deal with the world of celebrity anymore and wanted to focus on something more in his control. And he loves painting. Gotta love the arts, brother. So, yeah. That, that, you know, that's what happens to, to some of these guys. 
Um, and but you know who I wanted to bring up, who sort of blacklisted and, and and they're falling off. This is like the early. We are seeing we are seeing what's happening. So we all saw the Oscars. Yes, we did. Um, with uh, Chris Rock. Yep, my man. And um, okay, what? Uh, go and spit it out. Oh my God, what's that guy's name? Dude, I got like a brain freeze. What's going on here? I, I need something to drink. You mean Will Smith? Is that who you mean, Will Chris? Smith? Rock. What are you looking it up for? Oscars. It's the Will Smith show. It was so, Will, Will Smith. So, um. Man, I'm exhausted. You make so, me sick. So, what happened? Yes. It, listen, Man, it was Will Smith, sick. but I was looking up something I know. else. What were you looking um, up? I was seeing if they came to, to an agreement. So, anyways, uh, Will Smith, well, Chris Rock made a joke. He, I mean, that's what they do. They make jokes about everybody. And I guess Chris said he didn't know that Jada Pinkett had a condition where her hair falls out. And he made a joke comparing her to G.I. Jane 2, the movie coming out. Um, she didn't look happy about it. Will Smith, visibly, you could see him laughing. He thought it was funny. Yes, he did. But then when he looked at his wife, she gave him the, <laughs> the, 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 the what, Reggie? Side eye. <laughs> yeah, the side eye. He oh, got man. up out of his seat. Yep, like a rabbit. And Jumped walked up on stage mm-hmm. in front of billions of people mm-hmm. on TV. The, the whole world. Took his hand. Yep, balled it up. And physically assaulted Chris Rock, who's 60 years old. 60-year-old man. Yes, he did. And the slap was heard around the world. And at that point, he pretty much ended his career. Um, he, he tried to do some damage control. But I don't, think, I don't think it's worth it. I noticed after that big old slap heard around the world, uh, they were running a lot of his movies. I guess they still wanted to keep him in a positive light. But you know, Reggie, what? You, you know what's really such a shame? What's a shame? That Will Smith was a, a, a black African American. Wait a minute, let me stop you there. He was a black Negro colored African American. Was going to receive an Oscar that night and be the next thing for our generation. The next big thing to, to look up to and admire. And he ruined it because he physically assaulted. It's assault and battery. Let's call it what it is. Assault and battery somebody. I mean, if it had been somebody else, they would have been in jail. Maybe. But I, I guess when you're famous... What? What? What do you get, Reggie? You get a pass, man. <laughs> you know? I, I guess you get a pass. <laughs> Apparently. <I don't>, you know, <laughs> different rules for different people. <laughs> different that's, rules. Like, for that's what people are saying. Mm-hmm. Not us. <clears throat> that's what people are saying. Oh, yeah. So uh, we uh, don't, don't, don't come after Ross. Do not, please. <laughs> I want my money. Anyways, that <laughs> brings us to the time of show where it's... What, Reggie? It is time for the words of wisdom. <laughs> Take it away, my celebrity brother. I wonder what it's like to be famous. There are so many demands on us and so many expectations. I wonder what it's like to be hounded by the media who sit there and follow every move you make every minute of your life. A lot of us grow up with the stars and right now we always wonder what happened to the stars a long time ago. Did they move on? And why haven't they been in any movies or TV shows? Well, it's interesting to see what happened to many of these famous people. Some of them get into a little bit of trouble. It scars them. And some of them choose to stay in Hollywood and make movies. And then there are those who just want to have a family, which is something a lot of people wanted. All I can say is, for all the actors and actresses out there, I hope they are happy wherever they are in life. Because many people grew up watching you, idolizing you, and hoping the best. We all just hope that all of you are safe and happy, and wishing you the best for you and your family. And those are my words of wisdom. Thank you for those words of wisdom, my brother. And hopefully we'll have a long, prosperous career like a lot of these actors and actresses. And it's going to bring us to that time of the day where I give the baton to you so you can take us out. Thank you for joining us here on Pop City Culture. And thank you for making us one of the most listened to podcasts around the world. Listen, everybody, our success is your success. You can download our podcast and enjoy them any time of the day, morning, noon, or night. I'll see you next time here on Pop City Culture, where we give you three cups of sunshine and what, Reggie? And a pinch of attitude. That's right, (laughs) a pinch of attitude. And listen, everybody, as always, be kind and affectionate to one another. Remember whose you are. Peace.
Yo, man, you still, you still, no matter what happens, man, you still gotta be bringing up Will Smith, man. I think you got something against this, dude. Because I'm gonna tell you, I still like Will Smith. He was standing up for his queen, for his matrix. <laughs> but you know, you who you gonna stand up for, brother? Oh, I, be, I better go because he, my brother might want to slap me. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, see y'all later next week out here. Oh. Pop City Culture. All right. All right. Just so you know, Reggie, um, he was actually offered the role of uh, Neo in The Matrix, and he refused it and didn't take it. So, that's it. Bye. Drop the mic.